good everyone and welcome to today's brand new video and today it's the Spain Impressions on the P30L. Now the title obviously says a difficult plane and it isn't the plane's fault. I'm going to say that straight off the bat. It is not the plane's fault. The main issue I had Spain in this plane was constant up tiers to 5.7 where this thing can't really compete and not only that, crap allied teams. I had very few victories in this aircraft. I will be brutally honest. Um, in fact, we'll take a look at my stats in a moment. You can see the win rate. But I just had a horrible time in Spain in this plane. And like I say, I love the plane. I love the P-38s. But... I'm sorry, what is it doing at 4.7? The only difference between it and the and the J model is a couple of dive breaks and different layouts of its weaponry, such as the gun pods, which I have on here, the bombs are the same, and the HVAR rockets, which would be where the gun pods are right now. It doesn't belong at 4.7. Yes, it technically fights better than the P-38J, but it isn't worthy of a 0.4 increase to work and fight a K-4. At one point, I had to solo a K4, and he was just completely kicking my ass. There was nothing I could do. It wasn't until I baited him into the vertical, where even then I struggled to beat him, that a teammate had to kill him. There was nothing I could do to kill that 5.7 fighter. And... You should call that balance, Gaijin? Nah. But anyway, let's go over the plane, see what it is obviously capable of. Obviously, the P-38's armament does not change from the E model. So you get the standard 20mm cannon in the nose and 450 cals. I don't need to go over that. You guys already know. Um, but the main difference between the P-38L is two main additions. Dive recovery flaps and extra additional armament. So what are these dive recovery flaps? Well, in real life, the P-38 across the board struggled to pull out of dives at high speed. It got to the point where P-38s were close to breaking, I think it was 600 miles an hour at one point. And the pilots had a lot of well, problems pulling out those dives. So the L model was obviously meant to help with that and if a pilot was in a steep dive they would activate those dive brakes and it would help the plane pull out the dive in war thunder this isn't really replicated so to speak but they are essentially big air brakes well not big they're not big at all but they are air brakes essentially and my recommendation is if you are going into a dive and you hit over 400 miles an hour pull them down Honestly, you're going to feel the difference. That is for certain. These dive recovery flaps have saved me numerous times. They also help in dogfights, um, obviously forcing planes to overshoot. And with this thing's roll rate with boosters on, it is absolutely insane. So yeah, that's really my recommendation. So extra armament. Well, extra additional armament, as I said. Obviously, you get these gun pods, 250 cals on each one. Recommended gun convergence is 600 to 700 meters. And let's just say, if you hit a plane with all this armament, it's dead, no matter what. I've been able to gut 177s and 288s for this armament. It is absolutely insane. The Obviously, well, I, I think I mentioned it in the J Spain Impressions. There is a problem with its damage model. The damage model on the P-38's have always sucked, so I'm not going to go over that. But what else can this thing carry? Obviously, 200 pound bombs. Pretty standard. But it's the rockets that got me really interested. You get 10 HVARs, and this looks sort of like a really weird looking Christmas tree. I've only used the HR rockets once, and I was unable to kill anything with them, because I targeted a destroyer and it didn't die after all 10 rockets hit, because... Gaijin. 
And well, it it's a good aircraft. It's very versatile. The armament's very good. Obviously, the speed's good. The energy retention is really good. The climb rate's really good. But it's just the teams and the constant up tiers. The plane itself is very good, and I can see why some people think it should stay at 4.7, but I don't think it should. If I, if, in my opinion, the J could go down to 4.0, and this could go to 4.3, in my opinion. Yes, they're significantly more powerful, but trust me, I've seen a lot of P-38 pilots making mistakes, and they just don't do things properly. So, instead of me blabbering about... Um, what went off and everything. Let's see what I got up to. So in this battle, I was rocking the pods, which they really do make a difference to the firepower. Personally, though, I would keep the pods on all the time. Second you get the pods, slap them on and keep them on. They don't really affect the aircraft's performance all that much. And a P-38 is far too loud. <laughs> I'm just going to crank that down a bit. So, let's get into the sky, shall we? So the P-38L wasn't really much of an improvement over the J, so to speak. Performance-wise, it's actually a little worse. It climbs a bit slower, it cla its top speed is a little slower, only by a small amount though. But those dive recovery flaps are really handy. So let's just have a look at the offensive armament as you see it flying towards you. I mean it just looks like it's got some monsters out of Monsters Inc for its engines and then you just got these fearsome guns looking at you. It is a very feared aircraft. A skilled pilot in the P-38 is something to be feared. Let's just say that. So, let's skip to the action, shall we? Now in this battle, I do see quite a few enemy pilots making mistakes, surprisingly. Which I didn't expect to happen. And here's where the mistake starts. So down there, we've just got a French Helldiver and a P-25 Mitchell destroy all the fireboats. Now they do blade the enemy team's tickets quite significantly, but I don't think it's worth sending two of your best fighters to go deal with them. Forgot to mention this is a full down tier. This is the only one I got. And here I drop the dive recovery flaps. But I keep the power on. And there we go, first kill. Keeping the speed up. I pull in the dive recovery flaps at this point. I know I'm faster than that P-47 at the moment. And well, the Kaya 100 just doesn't stand a chance. And this P-7 comes in for a shot, and I get him as well. I was laughing at this point, as you can imagine. I make sure the B-25's okay. He seems to be, I believe he crashes sadly though. So at this point, obviously, there's a P-47 hit the bolt coming in. I am just going to keep my speed up, and I'm just going to keep going. P-38 requires speed. Without it, you're a dead P-38. Our Stalin bolt goes head-on with a Japanese Falcon Wolf. There's a lot of premiums on the enemy team. It doesn't kill him, but they do both turn back for each other, if I recall correctly. And they are going to take each other out. See, there he guts the Falcon Wolf, but the Falcon Wolf guts him. I just got a message out of that pilot there, Ella Hollywood, who wanted to fly with me as I finished his spade. I believe I was about three quarters done at this point. But there goes that P-47. I was making sure if the fire went out and seeing if he was okay, but he was gone. So we're on three kills at the moment. We are obviously wanting to climb back up. This thing climbs like a homesick angel half the time. It is an absolutely amazing aircraft for climbing. 
But let me tell you, this is probably one of the roughest spades I've had in a while. And like I said, it wasn't the plane's fault. The team's just so bad. This was a good team. This was a team who actually knew what they were doing. But yeah, it's just a shame that this plane fights on such bad teams because it could give the Germans a hard time. I'll tell you that much. I had a G6 pilot once when I was spading this thing. And he just couldn't match me. I outfought him in every single guard. I was just keeping my speed up, climbing above him, forcing him into climbing spirals. There was nothing he could do, and I eventually killed him. That plane just didn't stand a chance against P-38L. Because, as I said, a skilled P-38 pilot is something to be feared. Set the system 91 on fire. Really nice plane, that is. Deploy into the vertical in case he tries to turn and go for a kill. He'll never keep up with a P-38L on the vertical. Ella goes for a kill steal, but soon realize the plane is on fire and that is job done. Fourth kill. But yeah, I honestly, I honestly think this thing needs to go into 4-3 because K4 will simply kick your ass. There's nothing you can do against K4. If you have the altitude eventually on a K4, you may have a chance, but... I'm sorry, but no. There's just nothing you can do. Now, for some reason, this P-47 decide, well, just hit the bolt, decides to go for me, yet he had a stalling P-47 going for him. Whatever made him want to target a P-38, I do not know, but... The shoot was terrible. He then leaves it till the last second to turn, but by this point it's already too late. I get some good shots into him. Rake the guns across him. Ella goes in for the kill, but doesn't get it. The 47 pilot decides to turn, which gives me a lovely side shot. Obviously it gets me some time to get my lead in. And there you go. All, eight, all, all nine guns, I should say, connected right there. And even a P-47 will not stand up to that punishment. And that's the ace in the day. The only one I got. So the rest of the games were one to two kills. The odd three. But... When your teams are just so bad... So bad that it was a truck going past. Um, when your teams are that bad, there is nothing you can do. You can outrun most Germans, but they'll still catch up eventually. And like I said, it's really sad that this plane has to fight on such terrible teams. So let's go briefly into my stats. Uh, that's the J model, if you're as interested. 35, 9 deaths, etc. And the L was 33 air kills, 12 deaths, 25 ground targets. Most of which I got in the game I was originally going to show you, but then I got this and I thought... This would probably be a bit better. But yeah, almost a 3-1 kill death ratio. I might use it in tank forces to see how the H5 rockets doing the 500 pounders. But otherwise, it is a perfectly good aircraft. It's just the teams are horrible. It's a difficult plane. And that's why the title will be a difficult plane. It'll be something like War Thunder, Spade Review, P-38L, a difficult plane. And it honestly is a difficult plane. But if you get to work, you are going to have a great time in this plane. However, don't expect it to work all the time. Because your teams are just terrible. I was lucky to have a bad German team. And they just kept feeding me kills. But hey, we can't win them all, can we? So that's it for the P-38L. Obviously my next spade will probably be one of the German aircraft. I've been meaning to catch up with my German planes. Um, I only need, I think it's four more American, no, three more Americans to get 100 spaded and that will be pretty interesting. Obviously Germany and Russia are well past that margin. 
But I'm just trying to think of what could be appropriate for spading. Obviously, I might do the Jackson, but to be fair, the Jackson is not the best. Um, M19 Duster I need to do, which will take the piss. I do have the F4U4s to do. And I do have the people to 1H, which I've already floated once. Got a kill and died because my team died. Got a bear gas to do. Things like that. We'll see, yeah? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's review on the P38L, and I will catch you all on the next one.